What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Run It Up, Run It Up Hangout today with my friend Martin Campman. Yes, that's right. Thanks for coming on the show. For sure, anytime. This is awesome. I'm very excited. I've always been a big fan of yours. I told you that I first watched you fight live in Columbus, actually, back in like 2007. And ever since then, you put on some like sick arm triangle on some guy, and I've been like a huge fan ever since. Thanks, man. I appreciate so this, it. This is awesome for me. Oh, thank you. It's <laughs> awesome for me, too. <laughs> hey, that's great. Look at that. That's awesome. So what have you been up to these days? Like I know you've been, you had a couple last couple months off. Like what have you been doing? Yeah, I've just been taking it real easy and then giving myself a, uh, taking. I'm taking a long break, let my body, my head heal up, and uh, you know, getting getting feeling good. You know, taking spending time with the kids and, and uh, nice. That's right. Doing easy training, very easy training. Not not anything crazy, you know. Well, you've had I think you've had like 27 or 28 pro MMA fights. So that's a lot of fighting, yeah. obviously. What what got you into fighting initially? Like how did you get into I started martial uh, arts. I was doing karate when I was a kid. I did that too. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Different different <laughs> different results obviously. <laughs> I would bet you were better than me. But yeah, so okay. Uh, my, I don't know. My karate I, uh, my uncle, he was a black belt. So yeah, you know, he got inspired, started doing the Shotokan. I still remember okay. the 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 kata Dakotas, nice. Got, got, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. We can do kata together. Nice. <laughs> competition. Show a little, little show for the camera. Later. There you go. There you go. If they're lucky. If, lucky. if you're lucky, right. Yeah. So, so you were doing karate, and then how did that go? Like, you're in, you're still in Denmark at that point, yeah, right? Yep. Yeah. Born and raised in Denmark, and um, then later I got into uh, boxing, and amateur boxing, and Thai boxing, and uh, I started. Uh, Competing in that and and, uh, and doing 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 well and uh, you were in your teens when you got into boxing yeah yeah and uh, and um, then I I heard about this uh, cool shit I don't know I yeah oh you can curse as much as you oh. want that's fine <laughs> fuck it you can curse U I heard about UFC I heard about UFC and uh, and it was actually one of my it was like a, a what do you call it? like a the, the physical teacher in school oh yeah like a gym teacher type yeah, of person saying, yeah you know because we, we were doing all the fancy kicks and all this stuff and thinking you know. Thinking you're the best too. Like that hot, hot shit camera yeah, over yeah. there, right? Yeah, that's right. Snapping back kick or whatever. <laughs> you guys gotta watch this shit and and, and see how uh, you know these guys take him out. You know, with all the grappling moves and all that stuff. And, right. Uh, the peak. You know, me and all my friends that peaked their interest. You know, we were like, we want to see that. You know, and we, we were checking out, and I'm like, wow, that's that's badass. That's, that's awesome. Guy out. He was doing arm bars. You know, Royce Gracie, all the old school. Right, stuff. right. You know, we're, you know. We're still a couple years behind in Denmark, so right. <laughs> we, yeah. would get, we would get the UFC videos. The down. VHS tapes, yeah. yeah. Then, 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 then huh? There'd be a little delay from, you know, when they, when we got them to when it actually was happening. Right. That was in America, too, though. It wasn't exactly the easiest to get a hold of, even oh. like, you know, we had a, the dark ages. We had a, some guy send it from... from from London that was sent it to Denmark, so he got it somewhere from the U.S. And Do you remember your first UFC fight that you watched? I can't remember the first one. I, can't, I just yeah. remember watching Ois Gracie and watching those old school tapes, and I was like, damn, that is badass. I That's wanna, awesome. I want to learn some of those. <laughs> I want to learn some choke holes. I want to learn some arm bars. That's stuff. right. Was there was there good options for like jujitsu back then in Denmark? Like I can't imagine it was too well established. No, there wasn't really much uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu uh, at all. But actually, the the city I lived in there was like um, shoot fighting, like a kind of right. submission wrestling, catch wrestling stuff. So I started doing that. Uh, Ken Shamrock style catch wrestling, yeah, right? Yeah. That's it. The old yeah. <laughs> old was, school. And it was called shoot fighting back then. And actually, my very first MMA fight, it was a uh, you know open like hands, creation, open hand. You can't you can't can't punch with your fist but you can you can slap the shit out of <laughs> it's almost like almost more domineering right if you just like slap people around a little bit right it's, it's, I, I, it's I, I didn't like you know because I, I, my background was boxing and then right. I was used to punch some people boxing the amateur Thai boxing you know and, and, uh, and then later I was doing professional Thai boxing as well but I wanted to be able to punch people but luckily after that fight they got uh, they got gloves you know big right. MMA gloves that was the amateur MMA fights and then Eventually, I was doing uh, professional MMA fights too, where you can, of course, punch. You can punch, you know. So right. I was, you know, I've seen guys get poked in the eye. That was what I was scared of more than anything. You know, you try to oh, hit right. somebody with an open palm strike, and you get. You think those are bad now with eye pokes? I'm sure with the no gloves, oh, open hands. Terrible. terrible. <laughs> right. That's crazy. So, so you were obviously very serious into fighting. When was your first pro bout? How old were you when that happened? Um, my first pro MMA fight was 2003. Okay, so 10 years ago. That's yeah. crazy. So when you started, did you ever, did you think that it was going to be a thing that you were going to do as a career or did it, like a thing that you just did as a passion? Did it become later a career I, for you? I or? did it as a passion. You know, it, was, it was a passion for me when I got started and, and uh, fighting pro fights. You know, 
I did a profile in 2003, but it wasn't like, it's not like I'm quitting my day job. <laughs> right, right, right. It wasn't much. Right. So I fought for 200 huh? bucks, you know. Right, 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 right. It's not uh, you go out huh? and make a living doing that, but right. it was a passion. I thought, you know, I've been doing this shit for free. If I get somebody want to pay me. Right, that sounds great. Money on top, no. That's just, you know, that's just a bonus, you know, so. Right. And, uh, but at that time, you know, I was, I was watching UFC. I thought it was awesome, but, but still, I, I didn't know if, you know, I can make this my career, you know, and, but, you know, I was, I was studying as well. I was in school. I was. What were you in school for? I, I've, I've done some different kind of school, but uh, for a minute I was studying uh, engineering actually in Denmark, but I only did that for a year and a half. And then that's when I moved over here in the U.S. To mostly, to mostly train or was that not related to MMA? The move to the U.S. No, was that? I, was, I came over here to train. I was hoping to get a fight in a smaller show. And then uh, uh, WFA. Yep. They, the old Rampage organization, yeah, right? Uh, Rampage versus uh, Matt Lillen. Oh. <laughs> that, uh, that fight, um, they needed someone on short notice. Because uh, um, Pele Landi, I don't know if you know. Okay, him, sounds familiar. Brazilian old school guy. Yeah. Badass too. And uh, <laughs> he pulled out of a fight with injury, so they needed somebody to come and, uh, and, and, and step up for him. And I was over here training and hoping to get a fight on a, on a smaller show, and, on a smaller circuit. And, uh, you know, I had the opportunity. I, I got in and uh, I won TKO. Um, nice. Uh, yeah, and after that, I took that fight on like two or three days' notice. It was, it was really, it was really <laughs> you had no problem making weight or anything like that? Because I was fighting 85. When I was fighting 85, I pretty much was walking. You were like 85, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, so that's all my fights in Europe, too. I fought a lot in Europe and, and, and of course, Denmark, where I'm from, and, and, and Sweden. I went to England to fight a lot because they had a lot more MMA at that time. I went to Russia right. and fought, fought there. And, um, no, it's just traveling because right now there's a lot more MMA shows in Denmark. You know, it's easier to get fights. But back then, when I was, I'm sure it's much harder. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Do you do you have any particular men, uh, memory of like a, a favorite venue? It was like kind of weird. Do you have any particular like oh, I memories? Some shitty. Yeah. Shitty, shitty shows <laughs> yeah. At at uh, at uh, you know where it's like a club. They close down like the warm up room. Oh, you guys go warm up in there, and there's like glass on the floor and stuff like that. You're like, fuck. Okay. <laughs> One time I had a fight where, because the warm up room was separate from the club, it was like, a, like, uh, I can't describe like, yeah, second floor you kind of look down into the cage. Okay. The warm room rooms was in a different. Building. Like a pit it, almost. It was, right. Well, it was still a cage. Right. Yeah, but. Huh? Then it, was a, it was winter, so we had to go from the warm up room to the. And I'm I'm wearing my uh, you know, not wearing much. I'm right. Yeah. Fight. Ready to go fight. We had to walk outside to get. Into the uh, arena, arena to fight. Yeah. I'm standing out there. It's fucking cold. There's no one to grab. <laughs> just warm up for this shit. Let, let me in. You're gonna go through the cold. Like, Hold on, on. You gotta wait for the other guys to come out. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so so obviously you made it to america you from the wfa days you obviously have i just had one fight in the wfa and then after that three weeks later um somebody pulled out a uc fight so i had three weeks notice for that fight and uh and um you know i got that fight and won that fight and um the rest is history the rest is history <laughs> i actually went back to denmark after that and and, and continued uh my studies but then when I won my second fight in UFC, I, I kind of decided I'm going to put my, my, my... This was around like UFC like 50, something like that, I'm guessing, right? Uh... Like it was, it was probably around, because I remember the UFC fight that I saw you at was 68. So I know for sure it was 68. Yeah, that... I, had, I had two fights before that. Okay, so yeah, so probably around... around summer, the... summer 06, I had my first uh, UFC fight. That's crazy. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Do you look back and have like a, a favorite fight that you think like that was an awesome war? Is there one particular opponent that stands out in your mind as like a, a battle that you loved or anything like that? Anything particular that stands out to you? Um, I don't know. I, I, I think there's a lot. I had a lot of good fights. You know, I had a lot of good, good comebacks where I've come back where I've been in trouble. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, that's not how I want to fight. Right. <laughs> yeah. to just crush it. Right. <laughs> You know, a lot of times I've been kind of... Give them the business, right? Yeah. That's it. That's, that's right. That's right. A lot of times, you know, I, I um, you know, I've been having to get punched in the face a couple of times to wake up in there. And, and right. that's not the way I want to fight. But, you know, when I fought Paul Thiago, that's the fight where I was, I was very, uh, you know, happy with my performance. That's the one of the fights where I felt really, really sharp. I felt on. And, you know, I wish I could feel like that for all my fights. You know? Right, so right. A lot of the fights since then where 
come in and almost get knocked out before, you know. I mean, you fought some of the best guys in the world, though. Like, you know, that's the crazy thing is that, you know, like, I, I as, you know, I'm an enormous MMA fan, and the guys, some of the guys you fought are insane. You know, like, Carlos Khan, in my opinion, is, like, the number two guy in, in the division by far. He's he's great, I think. Like, I, I think, like, he's absolutely phenomenal. And you beat him once. That's crazy. Yeah, last of last. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I feel bad. Dude, you're putting salt in the wound right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. Hey, I probably bet on you to be honest with that, as I as I, I recall. Feel even worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I felt I could beat him. I, I you know, we, we've just fought. And I, I was winning the first round. I, for that fight, actually, I had it because I had a lot of performances where I've been coming out and getting punched around a little bit, and then I'll wake up. Right, you like waking up. So right. for that fight, I was so focused on coming in and being you know, sharp. Getting, on him right from the get go, you know, and I got on him, took him down, took him down, took him down that first round, and I just, uh, I think I was so so psyched up for just going at it from the beginning <laughs> that right. you know, when that round was over, I'm just like, Holy fuck, I'm completely gassed out. Yeah, right. right. And, you know, in training, I was going hard. I don't know. I think I just psyched myself. It's like an adrenaline hard. dump. Yeah. Something like I don't know, and, and uh, I was in survival mode right after that. All right. So dead tired, getting punched too much, and, and uh, you know. That's tough, man. Tough. It sucks. I have so much respect. Thank you for I, I have some. I have so much respect for you though, because I mean, obviously, it's like a really tough thing to do. Never mind the training and how many guys you've come up against. Is there? Is there? Even though you're a professional fighter, is there uh, any particular fighter that you're an enormous fan of? Do you feel like you're? Is there a particular guy that you're just like, man, Nick Diaz, love Nick Diaz? Is there anybody like that that you feel like? Um, I mean, I used to really like uh, watching. A guy like Vandalay. Right. He was one of my big. Uh, he he actually has his gym right right over there. He's literally a building away. You can see it from here. You can see it from here actually. Yeah. And uh, huh? Peter was always also one of my, my favorites. Did you ever meet him? Yeah, I met him right when I found Russia. Actually, I met him. Oh, that's Peter, awesome. Same way. Right. I guess it's not. <laughs> That's a great so, Fedor. So that's great. a great Fedor impression. I think that's that's awesome. So so yeah, that's that's great that you just somehow like found found fighting, found a passion, made a career out of it, and uh, that's great. Ten years. That's that's awesome. Like uh, you must you must feel like looking back on your career that you've accomplished some pretty amazing things. Twenty eight. You're like 20, 21 and seven or something like that. Fought the best in the world and done very well. I mean, how do you feel looking back? Like I'm, I'm my own worst critic though. You know, I I, I, uh, I look at my losses and look at oh I could have done that. I could have won that one. Why did I do that stupid shit? Why did I go for that stupid move right there? And, you know, especially I'm coming off loss now, you know, then right. it's tough. But, but um, of course, I got to I gotta be happy about the good things, too. You know? uh, right, right, right. But, uh, huh? You know, I'm happy. I'm, I feel fortunate that, you know, it started as a passion for me and, and I've been able to make my passion my living, you know. So I feel very fortunate for that, you know, and, and uh, been able to, to do what I love to do every day and, and uh and make make a living doing that. So I feel the same way, my friend. <laughs> it's a great thing, right? So you're living here in Vegas. You're training still with Randy primarily. Is yeah, that I, is that I still true? I train with I train at, at Syndicate as well. I train at Drysdale. I go wherever I can feel like I get the best training in. But, well, you know, Extreme Mature is my 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 main spot. How has that been like training with uh, with Randy? Obviously, is a pioneer of the sport and tremendous athlete. Obviously, do you get to train with him often? Like, how what is that like? We used to train a lot, you know, when he was fighting. When he was fighting all the time, right? Now he's he's not in there. As, as much. Is he still in there at all? I have any yeah, idea. He'll come yeah. in there, but not, you know, I haven't seen him on the mats for a long time. Right. <laughs> so him, but right. he'll come in and, and, and get a workout in, but it's not, uh, it's been a while since I got a session with him, but I love training with Randy, and I, I used to love when he would run the, the practices, you know, that that would be some of my, uh, you know, favorite favorite practice, and I, I love training with him, too, you know. he's That's great. He's got a ton of experience, and, 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 and you can learn so much from him, um, so... How how do you feel speaking of like of like you know fighters that have been around for a long time? How do you feel about Vitor's recent resurgence? Like in the past, Vitor's got three head kick knockouts in a row this year, right? Bisbing, Rockholt, and now just just recently against Hendo. How how do you feel about a guy like that that has like he has this controversy with TRT and everything else? Like how how does that? Do you have an opinion on on, on TRT and like Vitor in general? Like how that's kind of played out? Vitor, he trained here with us at, uh, at Couture's too, and uh, oh, I didn't know that. And um, he was here in Vegas for a while. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I don't know, I think the TRT is kind of like uh, it should make it, you know, same rules for, for everybody. You know, I, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. Right. Yeah. That's how everyone feels right now. Everyone's like, yeah. 
<laughs> maybe I should try it out, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Don't, don't start rumors. <laughs> it <should> work. <laughs> right. But do you feel... I don't know. He's, he's obviously, he's a beast too. He's a stud. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Have So, so like, you know, for it seems like something, something just changed. And all of a sudden, because Vitor was not that scary that long ago. And as a person that bet against Vitor, I had my... <laughs> I had my I had my biggest bet of my life is this is this fight right here okay you bet on him or I bet him? I bet against him I bet on Anderson and I felt really good about it but if he you know when he fought Hendo I bet Vitor and I was very happy with that because Vitor these days is some like crazy Terminator type yeah. you know it's yeah, just he nuts really, really good against Hendo, man. He, looked sharp. he looked great he looked great who do you think would win Vitor versus Weidman do you have an opinion on that well uh, I like I like uh, I like Weidman and he's a tough uh, are you are you guys friends. Yeah, I'm friends with Weidman. You guys train together at all? I've never trained with him. I've hung out with him a couple of times. We've got the same managers. And, uh, oh, cool. You know, he's a cool guy. And, uh, you know, I like Vitor too. And, uh, but uh, that's, a, that's a good fight. I'd love to watch that. That would be, that'd be a sick fight for sure. Do you think uh, Weidman will win the rematch? With Anderson? Yeah, I think he'll win. You think he'll win it too? Yeah, I, call, I called him one of the first one too, and people were giving me shit for it. They were like, <laughs> me up on Twitter, you're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know, Campman? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't expect him to knock him out. I right. Was, I thought he would, you know, take him down, grind him out. Right, maybe. You know, something like, how yeah. the fight went. And, right. uh, I think that's what it's going to do the second time here. But I mean, don't get me wrong, Anderson Silva's the fucking man. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Just to be clear. For me, Anderson Silva's the fucking man. He's the man. So, you know, that's awesome. anything can happen, and, and, and uh, there's a good chance that, you know, Weidman get, get caught, you know, but right, still, right. I'm, I'm picking Weidman. I think, and I think even he's the underdog this time around. So. Yeah, he still is the underdog. Uh, he's still a slight dog somehow. Yeah. I've been on him. All right. And that's good to know. So the way that we connected, obviously, is through poker and the poker universe. Do you play poker often? Or what's your exposure like to the gambling I, world? I play poker in, uh, I'd say, in, 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 the, in the periods, you know. I'll have a period where I play a Bursts. ton of bursts. Yeah, that's right. I play, poker, <laughs> I play ton of tournaments. I'm like going down here to the strip. Oh, I'm going to play some poker. And nice. Like that, and then I'll go cool. months where I won't even think about it. Think about it. All right, right. And then, Will catch pique my interest again. But always poker, though. Not usually other games. You're pretty much uh, into poker only for your gambling. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm not a big uh, gambler besides poker. You know, um, I think, I think uh, when you're playing, you know, against the casino, you know, you most, you hard always, to win. You can right. Get lose. Right. Right. But, right. but uh, in the long run, I mean, you can have a good night. Of poker. course. I like playing craps. Craps is the only game where I'll make an exception because craps is fun. It's a social. <laughs> craps game. is awesome. You're going there with your buddies, and and you know, you can have a few drinks at the table, and and everybody's. Getting getting fired up, it's fun. It's right, fun, you know? right, 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 right. Like sitting there and, and flipping the blackjack or, or roulette. It's not me so as much, but crafts and poker. I like for gambling. That's awesome. So so I'm excited to eventually play some poker with you because I think I think it would be very I'm entertaining. Poker with you. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that's great. Now I got to have a box, and then it'll be great. Yeah. You know, I have a friend who has challenged me to a fight, and he he can't quite back it up with money yet. I don't think. But if he can put money up, I'm coming to you, my friend. Sounds All right, good. we gotta. I'll get you. Sharp, I'll get you ready. We'll bet a lot. We'll bet a lot. We'll share in the spoils and we'll crush this guy. How big is he? <laughs> he's he's like he's got like thirty pounds on me, but uh, he's like one eighty five, something like that. But we can overcome it. We'll do it. it. Nice, that's it. But you should start training now, though, not when the. <laughs> <laughs> we got two weeks. Well, oh, Mark, I'm next week. I gotta get some you, training. You couldn't. You couldn't help me for a week. You don't think? I can help you, but a week is a week could be tough. Well, the if bet you start now. Then that that bet is locked. He he offered me he offered me six months of training in advance before the fight, and he said he wouldn't even train. He would just let me train. And I think it's insane. How could someone beat me? That's not like athletic. I mean, he's athletic, but you know, he's like. What's his, he's got background. He's never been punched. Athlete. He's never been punched. He's athletic. He's you know, it's Dan O'Brien, by the way, in case you guys don't know. So he's uh, he's got a bit of bluster to him he's not you know he's got some attitude let's let's just say of that but he's uh he's you know he's he can carry heavy things i'm sure heavier things than me but i got punched in the face i'm saying it's karate style not like like you do obviously but i was in martial arts for 10 years 10 years i feel like i'd be okay yeah. You know, I've been dropped in my head before. I've done some wrestling. I've done some jujitsu. That's a great. That's a great start right there. I feel like I'd be. Crazy on him. That's right. That's right. Oh, boy. That's right. Stand down, Daniel. 
Nice. Look at that. Oh my God. Dan O'Brien is going to be worried about now. That's awesome. So uh, I'm very excited that we're not only are we doing this little hangout here, but uh, we're actually going to be doing a UFC pre-fight show for this upcoming week, UFC 167. Martin and I are going to break down the fights for you guys this weekend. And there's actually like a ton of welterweights on this card. Uh, Rory McDonald uh, is fighting. Uh, I forget who he's fighting actually, Robert but uh, that's it. That's what I got you here for. Robbie Lawler. It's going to be a great fight yeah, too. That's a great fight. Obviously, the the main event, obviously, GSP Hendricks. And uh, there's one other Walter Ray fight, too, I think, isn't there? Oh, uh, Story's fighting Ebersole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koscheck's fighting Woodley. This is great. This is, of, that's, a good, that's a lot of good fights. I'm scouting. I'm scouting. Nice. Scout, you know, that's, these guys, you know? that's right. That's very true. I already, I already did fight a lot of them. I think... Yeah, like about the other day. I fought, I fought three guys on the card. Right, yeah. Weights too. That's fighting. Oh, did you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited to get your two cents on all these uh, fights before I make my bets. You know, so we'll be doing that on Friday on Ultimate Poker's YouTube channel. I'll put a link up to that so you guys can check it out. But I'm really excited about that. So hopefully, if you guys like it and we enjoy it, we'll be doing that pretty often. So very, uh, very excited about that. Hey, it was great having you here. Great to, uh, great to be here. This was awesome. We'll have to come back and do this more often, huh? Sure. All right, guys. Don't forget, we're going to follow Tweet Martin Campman on Twitter, at Martin underscore Campman, and say, hey, Martin, thanks oh, for no coming. No, no underscore. No underscore? All right. Don't tweet that guy. <laughs> don't tweet that guy. Just tweet Martin Campman and say, hey, thanks for coming on. Run it up. It was awesome having you here, you know? That would be great. We're very nice. We like to thank people that come on the yeah. show. So anyway, thanks so much, man, and uh, we'll definitely see you Friday, Ultimate Poker. Sounds good. I'm gonna give him a piece with me. We'll do a piece together. I usually sign off with a piece. A piece? What the oh yeah, we do like a hand. Yeah, like a not like a gang sign or anything, but we just go like peace. You know? Okay. Ready? It's All right. Be synchronized. You, I can do one too. You wanna do a one too? No, no, synchronized. Oh, synchronized. Okay, ready? We'll do it on three. How about that? How about we'll just count in our heads? Okay. All right. <laughs> Is that gonna be hard? All right, we'll just do it. Ready? All right, guys. Peace. Nice. That was really good. That was really good. That was really good. All right. Nice. <laughs>